this gentleman here, Moses Korea, a well-studied uh, businessman all over the world, together with Meg Whitman, are in a position when you come to Kenya to know that they are not just be government officials, but your friends who want you to make money. Because that's, <laughs> that's your business. So yeah, yeah. But I, I, I want us, and I'm doing this on behalf of Kenya. I want us to hold Meg Whitman's hands here. Come, 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 come. And, and thank you. And this is a way of saying thank you. You're welcome. That, uh, thank you. We have a good friend. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what we are doing is uh, we are providing a co environment that is conducive for environment for investment, starting with the strategic trade and investment partnership that uh, we are discussing. Just last week, we concluded the second round of face-to-face uh, -face negotiations in Nairobi, and we are going to be back here in uh, in the U.S. in the month of July for the third round. And I'm very certain that uh, by close of the year, uh, God willing, we are going to put pen on paper for the first ever. A strategic trade and investment partnership by the United States in, in, in the continent of Africa. This should really speak to you and it should really to speak to your checkbooks and to your pockets as you make this decision. So uh, this is a, a manifestation of the commitment of the government of Kenya and the government of the United States to ensure that your investments are safe and that we really provide an environment that is good for your business. I am also in charge of ensuring that most of those challenges that uh, uh, Meg Whitman has talked about in terms of the business environment, the regulatory environment, we've given ourselves uh, up to only six weeks to, uh, you know, to um, pass the legislation that uh, President Ruto announced at the sidelines of AMCHAM that are going to ensure that we provide an environment that is really uh, good for your business. Moderna. Uh, is opening a huge factory in Kenya sometime in June. We're going to agree on the dates. They have come, they have looked at Kenya, they have looked at everything, and they say that they are going to open their only big factory in Africa in Kenya. Why? Because they believe that that is the next frontier, and they'll be breaking ground in a month or two in Nairobi. Labor in Kenya, and I want to repeat something I said yesterday. You know, Kenya is second to none when it comes to labor. We are very Americanized extremely Americanized in Kenya. Uh, you'll find Kenyan population is well-spoken, they are young, they are dyma dynamic, they are well-educated, they are fast on their feet, and uh, they get along with people and generally very good looking. So, uh, <laughs> so it's, it's, you'll, you'll find that uh, you'll get good labor, it's basically plug and play. And if you look at all the companies operating in Kenya, they don't even have to import people from outside. You come to Kenya, you'll find engineers. You'll find well-trained uh, people in all fields who can work and make you money immediately. So there's no, you know, that issue. You go and then you have to train people. And then because we speak American English, then it becomes very easy. With that, climate change is real. Uh, the move from fossil fuel towards green energy is not a matter of if but when. And this is a great opportunity, and I want to echo what she said. Kenya has 92% of our energy. 92% is renewable energy. Geothermal, solar, wind, etc. We want to move to 100% by 2030. We are inviting investors to come to Kenya to produce green hydrogen, which is the way of the future, so that we will be selling green hydrogen to the Western world the way we've been importing oil from the Arabian world. So it is a great opportunity for you also to get into that. Other industries, agriculture, you know, there'll be a shortage of food in a few years. Uh, we're looking at hospitality, ICT, we talked about manufacturing, light and heavy manufacturing. Let me talk about corruption. As a senior government official who served in this government, I have never seen such dedication of the present cabinet that I sit in, led by our President William Ruto, to fight corruption. We have given and empowered the police, all the agencies dealing with corruption, they are not tied to the government. They are independent. They can investigate everyone, including the president. They are free of any chains. That means now the government of Kenya has decided 
that we are fighting corruption in a way that has never been fought before, and that when you come as an investor, you will not have any problems in terms of people asking for bribes or other, other issues. We've taken care of that. And if anybody tries to ask you for bribes, just talk to me or Meg Whitman. We'll deal with it.